This is Fox 19 Now. Alarming posts on social media may have been warning signs that pointed to some of terror suspect Chris Cornell's views on our nation's government. Good evening, I'm Megan O'Rourke. Amy's off tonight. Fox 19 Now's Brett Hofflin joins us live from Oak Hills High School with details on this Fox 19 investigation. Good evening, Brett. Good evening, Megan. Yeah, I spoke with a former classmate of Cornell's who went here to Oak Hills High School. He says he knew him pretty well, but I also asked him asked him about two social media posts that certainly point, point towards a uh, anti-government stance. This post from Chris Cornell from 2012 begins with, quote, we need to overthrow the government, end quote. It goes on to say, quote, we need to bear arms and take action against these devils, end quote. On Wednesday, the 20-year-old was arrested by FBI agents at a local gun shop after buying two AR-15 rifles and 600 rounds of ammo. According to court documents, it was the final step in his elaborate plan to kill as many people as possible at the U.S. Capitol. It didn't seem like the kind of guy that would plan an attack on the U.S. Capitol. Um, he, he, he definitely wasn't that person um, when we were in high school together. Giacomo Luca used to go to Oak Hills High School with Cornell, and they were both on the wrestling team together. He says he would have never taken these posts that seriously, knowing what he knew of Cornell back then. The fact that you know, someone who was just uh, so close to me as a teammate, as a fellow student as well, um, the fact that he got so lost along the way, um, it's just, uh, it just really shocks me. A second online post from Cornell addresses American soldiers. He again is speaking about the U.S. government, saying, quote, I see no changes here. Things are getting worse if you haven't noticed. If you were smart, you'd be taking it to the streets, to the government, and police, end quote. Unfortunately, Cornell um, got very lost sometime after his high school career and uh, I just don't think that he's a direct reflection of our community. Now tonight, Cornell is in the Butler County Jail. He'll remain there until he has an evidence hearing, which is scheduled for next Thursday. We're live at Oak Hills High School. Brett Hoffland, Fox 19 Now. Thanks, Brett. Now, Cornell appeared before a federal judge here in Cincinnati just hours ago. Here you can see sketches of him as Bond was denied in his case. The judge also ordering him to be placed on suicide watch. Cornell's attorney asked the judge to order Butler County Sheriff Richard Jones to provide Cornell a prayer mat and a clock so he could perform his Muslim prayer rituals. And Cornell's parents also in the courtroom today, silenced by a U.S. Marshal after shouting support for their son. Fox 19 Now's Brett Hoffman was there as well and tells us why they believe their son was set up. In court today, Chris Cornell's family was very encouraging of the 20-year-old. His brother saying, we love you, and his father shouting, don't trust anyone. Cornell's family didn't say much to reporters today as they entered and left the courtroom. But we did have a chance to learn more about the family in the last two days. John Cornell says he is shocked to find his son is a suspect at the center of a terrorist plot because he describes his son as quiet and vulnerable. John Cornell says he knew his son had recently converted to Islam, but he says he had never talked about violence against the U.S. Cornell